Hello ladies, it's me Penny at Penny's Place. A bit out of breath, I've just been downstairs. I didn't use the chair uh, to get the memory card. So, I've come on especially. Um, I've been looking for the last couple of days for this lovely um, gift I got from Aisha, the artsy grandma. Alicia, Aisha, the artsy grandma. Um, I entered one of her challenges and she very kindly sent me a little thank you gift. So absolutely wonderful envelope, which I think she's made. But I, I, lo I love that paper, it's gorgeous. So, I have been in it, I have seen it. So, is that the card? Yeah, yeah, so sweet little card in greens and uh, a thank you die cut on top and she stitched all around it in zigzag and if I'm not mistook I think that might be um, serviettes, tissue paper and then uh, another piece of paper on top so yeah the uh, Aisha I get all my uh, things mixed up so and nice stamped on the back as well her own personal stamp that's lovely so that's the inside and that and then she sent me this lovely little I don't know like a like a a notepad if you want which is handy to have near you and she's done that in the same colours and uh, and and similar hues that she's done on the card I love these flowers so she's glittered these stamens inside and that's the inside and it's all been zigzag stitched on a sewing machine I hope she knows she's got to keep her um, a needle to one side. I have made the mistake of trying to use the same needle and it doesn't work. <laughs> so uh, keep an eye on which needles you're using. It's a lovely tag in and it's, uh, I think it's like a plastic she's put inside. Uh, that would be all under here. But that's great that because you can, uh, you can see the pretty colours of the tag. And you pull the tag out by that. So that's the inside, and uh, I don't, that's near where she lives. Nope, that's Farnborough and that uh, Basildon. No, that's down south, isn't it? So plenty of pages to to uh, do notes on, etc. And it's held together with um, embroidery cotton. So I uh, thank you very much, Aisha. The back's done nice too. And um, um, thank you very much. And it was lovely to enter your your challenge. Due to my health, I don't, <laughs> um, um, I can't enter as many as what I'd like because I never know how my health is going to be from one day to the next. And sometimes I just want the two hours I've got to do my craft. <laughs> but um, I'll try to do better. So thank you very much, Aisha. And I'll tell you what I'm, I'm up to now. Um, some time ago, not that long, but uh, a few weeks ago, I forgot me this uh, stamping up magazine. Um, I don't get many because um, I'm not a big paper person as yet. That's some scribbling I've done. <laughs> um, but inside are some lovely stamps. So I'll just give you a quick look. It might be still on sale because I say it's uh, only a few weeks. Issue 89. Uh, it doesn't say the date. Issue 89, but anyway, it was bought in December, uh, November. So, uh, these were the stamps that were inside. Proper Christmassy ones. Some religious type ones, if you like that. Country scene with the pine trees. And you can make them up into like um, stained glass, which is what I thought I'd give a go. Uh, late last night and this morning but I bought some um, heat proof uh, acetate but when I had a go of printing on it that went fine and I sprinkled my um, embossing powder on but then it didn't seem to hold the heat it warped, it warped the um, acetate so I'm not sure what I've done wrong, I must probably held it too 
it's closed. So I'll, I'll try that again. But uh, th those were the stamps. And you, I also got a nice... Um, hey, that can. It's also a nice one die cut. And I don't have... I think I've only got one die cut which has jewellery on it. It's very small. So so this is handy. I've got um, a happy, happy Christmas one now. If I do it the right way for you to see. There we go. Happy Christmas. So they come out nice. But as usual, I make the mistake I do nearly every year is trying to cut through silver um, silver paper, glitter paper, glitter cards, and it doesn't work. It's very hard to do. Maybe it would do better on my electric one. I've just been using my li my little one at the moment. So what I've done, got some cards ready here, and I stamped them. Uh, Mainly on watercolour paper, but I haven't done them all on watercolour. This was done, I think, just on normal card. Um, this is I've stuck this now onto this green pearl card. Yeah, but all I did was stamp it, and then last night I was painting it. Now this one I painted with pearl effect watercolours, and I think it's come out quite nice. And then I embossed it again very carefully. And um, embossed it in gold, so so it stands out. So I put this one to one side. That's the one I was working on. Then I thought, oh, I must do a, a video to thank Aisha um, and thank you for all your good well wishes for yesterday. Um, I had a sale going on, a premier sale on um, YouTube. Um, no, I didn't get any participants or comments or anything. Um, I made, I think, one sale, but there we go. Um, I'm most probably not making this th things people like. So, anyway, this is a card. And all I've done at the moment, you can see I've messed up there. I had to try and line this piece of blue where I wanted it. Because I wanted some of the white to show. So I cut it through. Okay, it was already a pre-cut card, a uh, window card, if you know what I mean, like that. So I've done that, and I've stuck that down, so now I've got to position that so it comes through there. And I've also cut out a little bit of acetate, um, which I will give a wipe if I've got a clean cloth, I have, because it picks up little bits of dust on it off your desk and what have you. So what I'm going to do is attach that to that, okay? It doesn't matter there's a little bit chipped there because it's going behind and then all that will be covered. So I think to stick that I'm going to need um, double-sided tape. Did I have any out? Yeah, I think I'll do this thin one. So, let me just get a piece of paper. So I can see what I'm doing basically here. Yeah. I'll use this. No, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm better on there. There you go. I'm better on there, aren't I? I'm something white. Uh, we're out of lockdown now. We're just in these tears, aren't we? Tears for fears there. Yeah. So, I'm just going to sellotape with double sided tape the round. Around. I think this is what I'm doing anyway. We'll soon find out if it works, won't we? It's grey and miserable today. Uh, had a lovely trip out. Was it yesterday, day before? I've took the I've took the sticky bit off. Um, where did I go? Doctors, <laughs> doctors to give some blood to them. I think they're running short. So, but I felt a bit more Christmassy today. So I've got my Christmas jumper on. Happy Christmas jumper. 
Okay, now that goes like that, and that goes under there like that. A bit of luck. Yeah, straighten it out, that will be absolutely fine. So, we're going to, I could have stuck this to that, couldn't I? I don't know what am I doing. Yes, I might do it that way. Turn that round, give that another wipe. Give that another wipe. Oh, no, I'm going to need um, a blade. Oh, I couldn't have done videos properly the last few days. Um, we've had workmen next door. And the gentleman who lived there, a lovely neighbour I've had since at 1983. He's lived here since 1940-something. Uh, Might have been 48, I think. Uh, uh, very late 40s or very early 50s he was here. And Fred. And he's, he's died now, so. They're gutting the house and making a lot of noise about it. So that... I mustn't go on over my line really. Must I? A little bit that way. Very carefully. I think that'll do it. Okay. I can always put a tiny little bit over there, but I can always put a trim around that part. Let me give this a wipe again. It must be off this and picking stuff up. Must be. Put a nice, there we go, that's what I should have done first. A nice clean piece of paper, like that. So that's stuck on there. And we're going to stick that to that one, okay? And if, um, I'm wondering whether to use, what's tape? I'll use this. But I would have preferred to have used a wet glue to manoeuvre it. But there we go. We're on camera giving it a go. <laughs> I can't believe my... Wait a minute, make sure that's... I'm sticking that on the wrong way, aren't I? That'll be on the outside. Oh, what a buffoon. What a buffoon. I want it on this way. Good job I didn't took the stickies off. So we'll go to the edge as I can. Whoop. And if it doesn't work, it's only paper. It's only paper and a little bit of paint there. And I've only got this morning to do a little bit of crafting. I've got uh, a bit of computer stuff which I absolutely hate but there we go I think you hate it because you, you're not good at it I mean if you're not good at something it's it can be a pain can't it so that's going like that that's going like this yeah okay let's take them off Take them off right there. And that'll be another card done for today. I've enjoyed doing different types of card today rather than buying more and more Christmas paper. Um, trying to use what I've got. And different methods of cards uh, like um, painting and things like that. That's probably not the way to do it, Penny. I'm just trying to get it a little bit centre. Like that. Okay. And I will, I'll put a little a board. I've got a little gold border somewhere, I think. So that will go there. So now I've got like nice acetate, uh, which gives it a little bit of a sparkle. And I thought with having the pink flower, and just to Christmas it up a little bit, a bit of, I did manage to cut this with um, glitter paper card, but it's very difficult. The word didn't come out. So I'm glad that did. 
So all I'm going to use on that, if one can put our hands on it, there we go, is this is um, this is about the only way I can do this. I can't even do this if it's blocked, can I? Oh, done. Uh, yeah, my Chloe liked her Advent come storage calendar, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if she'll be starting opening it this week or if she's going to leave it. She's leaving one pocket, she said, for um, Christmas Day, Christmas morning. That's a secret pocket one. <laughs> Unfortunately, we now think Mum knows where the secret pocket is, so it won't be a secret anymore, will it? Yeah. And we enjoyed having the family dog, a little spaniel, King Chat. Well, they're called um, oh, Blenheim, the breed, because it was uh, the Earl of Blenheim, or the Marquis of Blenheim, I think it was. Um, he, br he bred them and named them after Blenheim. Blenheim House or Blenheim Palace. So that's how. I didn't realise they were all the colours had different names. It was lovely having him, but I still think I'm more of a cat. I thought somebody had walked up beside me then. More of a cat person. But all animals are beautiful. So that's on there now. I know it took a little bit of time that. And then I could emboss that and make it stick out. Um, but I'm not. What I might do is just add a little bit of glitter here and there. Uh, the little twinkles, uh, a little bit of that. Not sure yet. So this takes a bit of time, but room wasn't built in a day. <laughs> okay. And I'm a bit better at listening to the news and everything on my iPad, so I've turned to my radio today. Have some nice music. Make sure that's straightish. I think it was on a bit of a curve, the um, the actual words on this. See if I can make it in the middle pen. Uh, what do you think? Come on, I'd say I know I can do something around here, no problem. A little bit of um, cornering or anything like that, um, and that will finish it off. So, something a bit better than that though pen. <laughs> so that would be one and then I'll have to cover all the inside of here um, and I'll most probably put in inner here. I do have these I use sometimes. Uh, I printed these off from somewhere um, I have to, to reprint them. These are a bit creased. So I sometimes put something like that in or you could just put a big stamp or a pretty piece of paper and then and then your good wishes. Okay, so that was that was the one. Um uh, my time eighteen minutes. This one we're going that way. This one I wanted to use this paper. This is from a pad. Uh winter winter something or something. I think about last year. And um I do all this because I don't want to get my big die cut out. That's that. That's the thing. That's why I end up doing it like this, because it's a bit heavy. And poor art has got enough to do, I think, today anyway. So I'm not going to bother him too much to lift things for me. And I've lost my pencil. What have you done with your pencil? You silly woman. Here's one. That's okay. So all I do is. Make sure that's all nicely stuck there. That's going to have to come off, isn't it? I always sound like my mum and my auntie when I say off. Yeah, I think it's the only bit of uh, Channel Islands I've got left and my 
in my accent. Whoop. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to cut in there. Don't really have to use this, do I? So I've got that as a marker. Okay. And that one. And round there. All right, and this side is going to come off, isn't it? Yeah. And hopefully, I'll still have some of my foxy, foxy in it because that's what I really wanted. I'm not doing two or three layers. I think with just this and the um, the opening would be sufficient. Hope so anyway. So I think I, I, I've drawn around it haven't I? I start panicking when I take off paper in case I've forgotten to do something and I have to measure it all again. I don't know if you can see the knocking is gently starting but I mean it was very very loud and I mean that was loud to me without my hearing aid. So um, it wasn't very enjoyable. As I'm hope, man, you know, if I took everything out, they'd be banging to get stuff back in, won't they? So they've ripped the kitchen out. So now it'll be um, ripped again. <laughs> Not ripped, but put in and make a lot of noise. So I've made sure that's about as straight as I can. And yep, we can go right to the end of that. And right to the end of that one. Okay. And as I say, because I couldn't be bothered getting out my heavy Gemini, I'm going to um, cut this out. There we go. There we go, ladies. Can you hear? Not a pleasant sound. I do apologise. Arthur did get on to them this morning. He said, I think we should have had a letter warning us of the hours that they're going to be putting in. It's a council house. And uh, I know work's got to be done. But if we knew what hours, etc., they were doing things, we could work our life around them a little bit. Lucky enough, where I go for a rest in the afternoon, not this room, it's uh, it, it's the room at the side of me, which is another room away from the noise. Take me here again out and um, put a pillow on my head. <laughs> right, I've done that right. Let's see. I do like this sky paper. It's just enough, and the little sweet foxes in this are lovely. I think one of them had rabbits in or hares in. I think one had a robin one. Let me do that. I'm trying to do it nicer. I don't have to do too much repair work. <laughs> And <laughs> I finally got it together. So that's going like that, and I thought that one like that. I take that bit of tape off. I can see. Okay. So that will go like that. Now I thought we wanted something dark. I think I'm thinking I might put the trees in here. I'm not 100% sure yet. I had done this uh, little scene, but I don't like that. That orange doesn't go. So that might go better because that little bit of orange I've done in the in the um, stained glass effect comes out in this. So I think I might use that. Now I know it's square and blah blah and uh, what have you, but my card, unless I'd made a whole new card, so I might do that. Or we could put a robin in. Like that. 
I'm going to go away and think about that, ladies, because I think I might have to make my own card up and put something like that and find another one of him. Or I'm going to find something that I can put in here. Okay. See, that would go like that. Um... That's quite nice like that, and then just put thing over the top, but then I shouldn't have opened it. Leave it with me, ladies, and I'll come back to you and decide what I've done to it. And uh, I've been using this little pad. It's like that. I love this colour. I love that colour with, with that. So leave it with me, and um, thank you again, Aisha. Thank you for all your good wishes, even though it wasn't a standing success. But I'll talk to you again soon. Okay, ladies. Bye for now. Stay safe.